This is Ethan Tapper, the Shinden County Forester, and I'm here at the Preston Pond Conservation Area in Bolton, where we're doing some more wildlife habitat improvement work. This work, like the other wildlife habitat management work we've been doing recently, is made possible with funding from uh, the Vermont Department of Fish and Wildlife's Habitat Stamp Program, and with a huge amount of help from the organization Vermont Cupboards. I've talked a lot about in recent videos about early successional habitat, and there are some misconceptions about how we create early successional habitat, where we think that if we just cut all the trees over a big area that we can create this really great habitat. And that's partially true. The problem with this is that we're trying to simulate a natural disturbance, what we'd call a catastrophic or large scale natural disturbance. Uh, an example of this would be a windstorm that blows all the trees down over a huge area. When that happens, there's dead trees on the ground, there's dead standing trees, there's trees that have been broken off and there's scattered living trees as well. All of those attributes, the, the residual trees, the dead standing trees, the dead wood on the ground, are providing additional habitats that are actually enriching that early successional habitat. Dead standing trees, for instance, can have cavities in them, which are used as den sites and nest sites for all different kinds of critters. Broken trees will be perch sites for raptors. Living trees will be seed sources and biological legacies which will enrich the next generation of trees by providing really different habitat attributes than young trees. So what we want to do is not to create early successional habitat by just cutting all the trees over a huge area, even though that might look neater and tidier, we want to create complex early successional habitat. And that's exactly what we've done here at the Preston Pond Conservation Area. We've used again that brontosaurus, that big grinder, to tip over whole trees, to grind some trees to the ground, and to leave scattered snags and residual trees 